Um, question for you. How advanced are you? As far as your tech right now. Can you create like autonomous activator or, or uh, not autonomous activators, but can you create like um, the pulverizers and stuff? So you got energy, okay? So you can do like pulverizers and stuff. I can show you the most efficient way and then uh, decide what you can accomplish with it. Okay, so you got four sieves and four hammers. Okay, so if we're going to do it with sieves and hammers, we can do it with that. I mean, that's no problem. Clean this out of the area here. Alright, um... I don't think what would be the best way to set this up for you. Um, let me think about this for just a moment. Have you and you got your automated couple gen up, right? Gravel, sand, dust into the sieves at all times so you want all drops basically okay so get some hammers and some sieves nothing brings the family together okay so let's go and grab some automated sieves we only want to really need three sieves one Two, three, right? Now, if you're going to be using, I tell you, the best thing to use is not the automated hammers. It is the pulverizers. That's the best thing to use. Pulverizers. But uh, if you want to use the hammers, I need to know. Do you want to use your hammers or you want to use the pulverizers? If you're going to use hammers, you're going to need to do it that way. Um, okay, well, we can do hammers, okay? And um, how do you got? How do you have your cobble gen set up? Are you just doing? Um, are you doing the way I've got it set up to where I'm just hammering a uh, cobble, a vanilla cobble gin? Because that actually helps out a lot. That'll prevent you from having to have uh, a lot of hammers out here. Let's see here. Show you the okay you're using extra utility so you're getting straight cobblestone then okay so you're if you're doing that then you're getting straight cobblestone um see i'm i'm creating gravel straight off the bat so you're creating cobblestone okay so what we're going to need to do let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit we're going to do it like this and you can rearrange this however you need to rearrange it. And I'm just going to use um, thermal expansion for now. You can use any pipes you need. Any pipes work here, but I'm going to use thermal expansion for now. Um, servo. And then we're going to need some item ducts. Okay. 
And we'll just put a servo there, there, there. Now what this is going to do is you're going to put a cobble in here. You'll break it down into sand. Sand will go into here. Sand will get broken down to, um, or cobble will get broken down into gravel. Gravel will go into here. Gravel will get broken down into sand. Sand goes in here. That's what we're going to need. If we're going to do this for, for dust, we need another hammer. Build this platform out a little bit more. Do it like this. Let's see here. Cobble to gravel, gravel to sand, sand to. I might be doing this wrong. This here gets broken down to gravel. Uh, pulverizers are actually better if you want to use pulverizers. Let's do pulverizers because they're actually better. They're they're faster. Um, than anything else. Pulverizers are your best bet. So let's go ahead and look at pulverizers again. Okay. So. I'm going to move the pulverizers, set them right like this, okay? Ah, right, come on. Okay. So we're going to power the pulverizers. I'm just going to get me a... ...sail here. Just go ahead and start all over here. Um, and I'm going to need some flux ducts. Let me go ahead and try and get this built real quick, and I'll try to explain it after I get it kind of built. Just, and like I said, you can change these for, you know, whatever you need, whatever you can afford. And, um, Transfer node. World interactions. Got a bunch of them. I got the thing and I don't need that. Not yet anyways. I'm gonna take our transfer nodes. Pipes. Face these things so I can see them now.
that up like that, and then all the excess can go out the back. Set this one here up to put on the left. Excess in the back. And on the left. This here should just be everything out the back. Alright, so now, as you can see, we're getting uh, cobblestone is getting made into gravel, gravel is getting made into sand, and then sand is getting made into dust. Now, once these get filled up, it'll take them a few moments to, for everything to level out. I'm going to grab some gravel just to kind of help things along here and some sand just help balance everything out for now uh, this will automatically balance out after uh, after it sets for a little bit but anyways you should start producing excess of gravel excess of sand and excess of, and you should always be producing dust um, Okay, so these will all be exporting the main inventory out of the top of your machines. Well, if you notice, I faced the machines facing me away, basically the machines are facing away from the sieves. Okay. And then I've got them set up here in a row. Um, main the main slot here is going out the top and out of the right side. And then all the excess of inventory is going out the back. Okay. That's what this little bottom corner is for, is the back. Okay. This here is input is inputting from the left and outputting to the right and to the top. And all the excess of inventory is going out the back. Same thing with this one here. Uh, this one here, we don't have anything going out the side, so it's going out the top and out the back. Um. All right, simple enough, right? Now, all you need to do is get you some item ducts and connect them to your sieves. Get you some filters. Uh, basic filters will work just fine. We're gonna put filters on each of these sieves. Once again, simple enough, right? Now we're going to take and we're going to set up these filters for gravel, sand, and dust. Here, um, dust. So we'll just go right here. And I like doing them in the same order. So this here is my gravel pulverizer so I'm gonna make this my gravel sieve this here is my sand pulverizer so this here will be my sand sieve we need to make sure these are whitelist always make sure they're whitelisted and this here is going to be my dust sieve okay now we're going to take the rest of our item ducts and we're just going to connect everything like so, and there everything comes out, and it will go in.
ran to its respected sieve. Now, you can actually move your sieves back one closer. I just did it this way so you could see a little bit better. So, there's our different sieves. All you need to do is just run some power to them. Uh, like I said, you can do this however you wish. I'm just going to do it right here. The rest is just purely aesthetics and how you want to set it up. How you want your system to look. But That's it. Yeah, that's it. This is it. And then you just have some item ducts on the front of this. And the best way to do this is instead of having a bunch of servos, if you've got ender pearls, the best way to do this is just to get you a retriever. And put your chest down. And then just hook your retriever into your chest and just leave it to blacklist and hit ignore. It should automatically retrieve the items from here. Or it should. Yeah, there it goes. It's automatically retrieving all my items for me. That's it's that simple. Um, now, of course, if you um, want to filter this out, boy, it's it's. Wait a minute, I think I might have an issue with these here. Let's give me a minute. Yeah, the first, okay, I got three pulverizers. The first one pulverizes the cobblestone and the gravel, and then the gravel goes up and to the right to feed this pulverizer. This pulverizer creates sand, and it goes up and to the right, which produces dust. All the X. Now, see, this is where I'm running. This is something I'm needing to figure out. I'm thinking that these are going to pro cause problems because I think that these do a thing here. See, this is something I'm not used to. These automatic sieves. I'm used to having uh, manuals or manual sieves. So I've got to think of how to keep these, cause these sieves dump items on the ground. So I've got to think of how to figure that out real quick. Um, we need to figure out how to stop these from spitting things out here. Hmm, let me think about this for a second. Um, See if I can't think of something that might help you out here. I think I'm trying to think of which one of these it might be. Something that's easy for you to do here. Um. Let me just look at some stuff here. See if I can't figure out how to keep this thing from overflowing. So I can't think of how to get, keep these from overflowing though. That's the problem. Is these things are going to overflow. And she's disabled um, manual sieving. Um, Let me think about this for a moment, because this is actually kind of an interesting problem here. Let 
What it should do is it should back up the machines, what it should do, but it's not wanting to. Here. You give me a crescent hammer. Alright. Yeah, it should back up the machines, but it's not. It's just spitting it out on the ground. Um, this actually presents a interesting little problem. Let's see here. We need to do a couple tests here and see if we can't figure something out here. Nope, that ain't gonna work. There's what you need. Right there, you need the reinforced filter, which is really easy to make. It's just um, some electrum, which is gold and silver. Hardened glass, which is easy to make, so this is what we're going to need, okay? We're going to have to have reinforced filters here. There's no getting around that. Stop this machine for a minute. Okay. So, we need the reinforced filters. Because they prevent overstuffing. So we are going to filter these out again. Uh, I want to. Uh, no problem, man. I mean, I have no problem doing this stuff for people. Um, I want to check and make sure this is going to work too, because that's actually kind of an interesting problem to a solution. But we are going to prevent oversending and see if that helps. There. And make sure these are whitelist. Whitelist and whitelist. Yeah, you presented me with an interesting challenge here. Let's see if that stops this problem. Yeah, once they once these filled up, it should back up your machines and once your machines back up your machines should stop well that's well, like I said I mean this is just a simple setup so you can rearrange it however you want um yeah um That's the basic. That's basically it. Make sure that your uh, pulverizers are facing away from your sieves, though. That's the key there. I'll give you a couple different angles to it. You need to uh, see how it looks like that's working. So you are going to need the reinforced uh, filters there. I'll even give you a. Look at each of the machines there for a second. Um, like I said, you will need to reinforce filters because they prevent overstuffing. Which basically that just keeps uh, the machine, that prevents the machines from sending excessive stuff. But you can see how we're starting to fill up on dust here. Excessive dust. Once it gets filled up, it'll stop. Uh, you need to see how to set up the smeltery or anything like that. Or is you just wanting to get the drops? Alright, uh, yeah, uh, if you got any more questions, be, go ahead and ask them here. Uh, someone will be hopping off here in just a minute. Um, so go ahead and ask your questions. If you think of any more after I do get off, um, uh, Hit me up on Twitter, and I'll see if I can't help you out with that. Um, or stop by again tomorrow, and we can look at some more stuff.
But yeah, this is the most efficient way I know of to doing this setup. You'll probably, it does look like you'll probably need a better retriever. Uh, maybe doing some servos here might help. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it looks like you're going to have some be producing more than what you can pull out with a basic one. This is basically the exact same setup I used in the Grand Skies 1. Except for I was using uh, manual sieves instead of automated sieves. Big thing is just the pipes are different in this version. Yeah, I'm not having any more drops, so that looks good. Nothing else popping on the ground. We are definitely going to need something better, though. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if we do just basic servos, if that helps. They're fast enough to pull out of each of these. You've got me thinking now. Yeah, you can replace them with item ducks. Um, I'm thinking just better servos will probably work just fine. Well, I mean, look, the basic ones are looks like. Let me just clear this stuff out real quick. Clear everything out of here, and we'll see if it uh, if the just basic servos can keep up. I think they will. Unless you put upgrades, speed upgrades in here. If you put speed upgrades, then you'll probably need to put better servos. Because the servos will pull items out faster. Oh, my chest is full. Yeah, it looks like... Basic servos keep up. As long as you got room in your inventory. Alright man, you have fun. Um, like I said, if you have any if you have any more questions, just hit me up on Twitter, but uh Appreciate everybody for stopping by and hanging out. Uh I always appreciate having people stop by, and I, li I do like helping people out. Uh, whether it's uh, automatic sieving or anything else, if you got a question, I know that I do derp around a lot in my uh, playthrough. Uh, see you, Shootman. Take it easy. Yeah, it's a long stream. Um, Shootman stopped by, and he wanted to see a uh, efficient version of a sieving setup, so I figured I'd show it to him. And I was talking about how... Uh, I know I derp around a lot in my playthrough of Agrarian Skies, and I'm doing a lot of stuff inefficiently, but if you guys have questions or you want to know how to do something more efficient than what I'm doing it, uh, just ask me. I don't mind jumping into a test world and showing you guys a proper setup. Like This here is a really, really efficient setup for uh, sieving and stuff that I showed Shootman. He's going to go try it out now. Um, here, let me show you real quick. In case you missed it, SG, this is my... Turn rain off. This is my super civic setup. I mean, you can expand this to be as big as you want, but... This is it. Oh, man, they're not keeping up. Or is my chest getting filled up? Huh? This is not full yet. Now, I guess it's better than what I thought it was. But, uh, like I said, if anybody has any questions for any kind of build that I do, and you want to know a better version of it, just let me know. I'll jump into a test world, show you how it works. Um, or you guys can shoot me a message over on Twitter or Facebook. Either way, um, I'm more than glad to answer questions for you. Um, but like I said, I'm 
glad everybody stopped by and hung out. It's always appreciated. Um, helps me out a lot. Uh, once again, you can get all the information you need about my, uh, the channel and uh, what times I do things down in the uh, information um, panels. Uh, I do a Grand Skies every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, and I do Atonement every night at um, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And then occasionally I'll throw in a random sh one hour stream throughout the day. Probably going to be doing one later today. I'm looking about 3 o'clock maybe Eastern Time for my uh, one hour stream today. Um, but of course, you know, like I said, Twitter, Facebook, player.me, any of those places, I try and keep them updated with what's going on. Uh, so if you want to check out, uh, see what else I'm doing, um, look me up there and uh, give, me a, give me a shout. But till next time, everybody, be safe, have fun, and see you.